This is gonna look stunning. Normally, we have New Game Tuesdays here on the channel, but with so many questions regarding deliveries, how to make them, how to upload, and how to properly use them, we're going to forgo New Game Tuesday and instead give you a full tutorial and guide on how to make, upload, and properly find the asset ID for your custom liveries and enjoy your creations. This video was not easy to make as I normally create content in 100% absolute silence or with very subtle music in the background. So if at the end of all this you find this video helpful, please share it with any mods or admins that you may know, friends, or just anyone that you think will benefit from this tutorial and full guide. First, a list of prerequisites. Number one, you're going to need access to a picture editing program. This can be just about anything. Some free options include almost any Google Photo Editor plugin, Canva.com, Snapple.com, pigmonkey.com and the list goes on and on anything you can customize a picture in will suffice in this video i will be using photoshop next we're going to need the vehicle templates for the sake of simplicity the link will be clearly marked in the description below but you can also go to the latest update log click on pre-approved liveries that will take you to a spreadsheet and on that spreadsheet you want to click on the link that says vehicle templates and last but not least you're going to need roblox studio for the vast majority of us this normally comes packaged with the latest Roblox update and it's a pretty prominent blue icon on both Windows and a Mac but if you still can't find it installed navigate to roblox.com forward slash create and click on start creating and that will automatically run the launch or download wizard and as a little bonus here number four if you really want to get ahead of the game or add an extra touch to your liveries download some royalty and license free law enforcement images that are in PNG format this means the background is 100% transparent outside of the actual image as as an example, I've already downloaded a couple stars and badges just to see how I put them to use. Now let's get to creating. I'm going to create two full liveries from start to finish. One will be neat and detailed and the other will sort of be rushed and simple with one color and one object just to prove to you that you can sort of do this more than one way without completely messing everything up. In Photoshop now Zanies and the vehicle I chose to mess around with is going to be the Ford Mustang, okay? Although you're going to see me do a lot of things, all you really got to know is that the reason I'm going to be so neat and organized about this particular particular template is because I want it to look as crisp as possible when I eventually use it in ERLC. By no means do you have to be this neat with it. Again, I am going to make another one showing you how disorganized or maybe not disorganized but just how simple this can truly be. I'm going to play some music for you guys and watch my work come to life. Alright, so a quick pause here. I think this is coming along pretty nicely. I'm going to add a couple more touches and then I'm going to move on to the next panel. So here all I'm doing is basically just flip flopping everything around zanies. Alright Zenny, so now that I've taken my time making and outfitting this Mustang, I'm going to jump over and create a very straightforward Crown Victoria. And please don't forget that this one's going to be very, very messy just to prove to you that you can do this any which way without messing it up. So here we go. And I wasn't kidding Zanies, this is it. This is it for the left side. And 
less than five minutes, I have what's gonna be the very classic and very basic Royal Blue FBI vehicle. So now that we have all of this, we're gonna completely close out of Photoshop, make sure that everything is properly saved and make sure you know the location of each file. Next, we're gonna head on over to Roblox. We're gonna click on the Create tab. From the Create tab, we're simply gonna look for the decals menu on the left-hand side, right below models and right above badges. Once in decals, we're gonna begin to upload every single one of our files. And here, as you'll be able to see, I have every single one of my Mustang files saved as PNGs. I don't really know if the format matters, but I can't imagine that it does as long as it's able to be read by Roblox. Stick to PNG or JPEG if at all possible. I'm pretty sure those formats are 100% compatible. Now I'm simply going to upload one by one, starting with the front, then left, then right. Last but not least, I'm going to upload the top of the Ford Mustang. Mustang is complete. Now I'm going to move on over to the Crown Victoria. That's going to serve as our FBI vehicle. And here we go with the Crown Vic on the left we're gonna upload that on the right and on the top and now we have completely uploaded every single one of our files once everything is uploaded to roblox.com once again you're gonna completely exit out of your browser this can be completely closed at this point the next thing you want to do is you want to open the roblox studio once the roblox studio is loaded up it doesn't really matter what environment you open i have a test environment already set up so i'm simply going to open that one but what does matter is that you open up to the toolbox the toolbox can be found on the left hand side it'll normally default to the marketplace this is a marketplace here this is all the stuff that roblox basically gives you for free lets you use for free etc etc but what you want to click on is on the inventory tab from here there's going to be a drop down menu where you're going to see models click on that drop down menu icon and you want to click on your images here you should see all of your models start to populate slowly but surely and as you can see my mustang has already populated and the crown victoria is on its way to being populated as well but the important part here is you want to right click you want to right click and you want to copy the asset id in a separate document or however you want to write this down you just want to make sure that you properly copy and paste that asset id properly marking which one is which so i'm going to make my list now and i'm going to show you what that looks like once i'm done almost done zanies this is what my list looks like these are my assets and if you guys want to use them you are more than welcome to use them i truly don't mind quite frankly i don't know if i'm going to leave them up and i don't know if they're going to be approved but i hope they are because they're very basic they're very straightforward i don't think i'm infringing on anyone you guys saw me use nothing but copyright and royalty free images so hopefully this is pretty straightforward i'm going to leave these on for a few more seconds and the next thing we want to do is now we are ready to jump into erlc something that i should have mentioned and something that i'm going to splice in when i'm editing this video is that you have to have the custom library package that should go without saying but you never know zanies sometimes we lose our train of thought but you want to make Make sure you have the custom library pack this is the only way this is going to work we're going to teleport to our private server now in our private server now you want to click at the very top where it says you are in a private server click here for more information you want to click on edit server settings from editing server settings you want to scroll all the way to the near bottom where it says custom livery pack click on edit and that's going to take you to the editor at this point make sure you have your asset ids handy and we are going to begin with the ford crown victoria that is now called the Falcon Prime Equest. Here we are. We're going to add new and get ready for the magic to happen, Zanies. Left one right one and see what i mean you guys i'm not even done yet and everything's already populating don't worry about these spots here you're gonna see those disappear here in a second as well but let me wrap this up real quick i only have the top to go and here's the top asset Okay, so we're going to submit this one for approval and then we're going to go back and we are going to add our Ford Mustang now, which is the one I am really, really excited to see. We're going to add new and here we go, boys. We're going to do front one looking pretty good so far. I see the outline. We're going to move over to left one and there it is exactly how we made it. We're going to move on over to right one now and there is the rights populating for us. And last but not least, we are going to do the top. Here we go. And there it is, boys. That is exactly what I wanted. Man, that looks pretty awesome awesome that bit of white right there that's gonna throw me off a little bit but you know what i'm not gonna make a big deal out of it right now this vehicle looks absolutely killer and for this one i'm gonna call it nothing more than red mustang i'm gonna submit for approval success livery updated i'm gonna go back and you know had i really thought about it i probably would have made this a different color i know i was talking about black but you know what the white and the red looks absolutely killer i am not mad about it at all once you hit confirm there is gonna be a little bit of a waiting game you're gonna see something similar to an hourglass and a circular arrow going around it 
it. This just basically means that it's pending, but once it's approved, it should populate in the packages when you are trying to spawn a new vehicle. And for those of you wondering, unfortunately, there's no real timeline for this. This is a manual review. If you click on need more help with the question mark at the very bottom, it'll say once you submit a livery for approval, PRC mods will review it. Red equals denied, black equals approved. So once again, there's no real timeline. Patience becomes the name of the game. Two days later. The time has finally come, Zanies. Let's begin with what I'm calling my homemade FBI vehicle. And here we go, the blue FBI. Oh, this is going to look stunning. Yeah, buddy. What about if we give this all blue lights? I think that would completely tie the look. So let me modify that real quick. Yeah, boy, that definitely completes the look on this FBI vehicle. This blue look has to be one of my favorite looks in ERLC. This deep blue in these vehicles just looks absolutely amazing, you guys. With the blue light shining. Oh, man. So although this vehicle looks great, let's take a look at the Mustang now. And oh, man, this Mustang looks great with all reds and that red and black color scheme with white. And although this car looks amazing, I gotta be honest with you guys. I did something else because I did have to wait approximately three to four hours for all of my packages to get approved. So while I waited, I made a few others with the Mustang. Nothing too crazy, just different color schemes to play on this red. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I made an all black and red one as well with nothing but red lighting. And look at how this looks. This looks pretty darn awesome if you ask me. But my favorite one has to be this next one. I ended up going with a gray and red color scheme. And although it was meant to be gray, it sort of ended up being this really reflective and kind of gray tannish color in the game. But I think it looks amazing. This has to be by far my favorite design. And I didn't even mean to do this. The only reason why I made it was because I was waiting for such a long time that I decided to just play around with it a little bit more. But here you have it, Zanies. These are my designs. These are my liveries. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Here are the updated library codes. If you want to get started on some packages, these are absolutely free. You are more than welcome to use these codes. And as a reminder, Zanies, you don't need any special skill or software or anything like that to get this done. This is quite literally what my templates look like for the gray Mustang. This is the front. Looks like this is the left. This is the right, and this is the top. Look at how messy they are. They don't need to be nearly as organized or as neat as my first template was. Again, I was just doing that for the sake of my sanity. These can truly be done in any which way, and I promise you, you are not gonna mess it up as long as you have some kind of idea on which colors are gonna go where. And just to really drive the point home, this is what the templates look like for the FBI vehicle. Nothing neat, nothing fancy about these, very straightforward, and it still gets the job done. Zanies, this video has been completely long enough but I sincerely hope that this full guide and this full tutorial on how to make how to upload and how to use your own liveries helps all of you out there please share this with as many people as you possibly can because I've already seen so many questions and so many misinformation about how to use these libraries out there thank you so much for the continued support and until next time long live the zanies